What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at another real SQL interview question asked during Airbnb interviews. Let's get into it. Now this one's called Requests Acceptance Rate Marked as Medium Hosted on StratusRates.com. We're going to be able to implement our solution here and see whether that would be accepted during the interview by basically passing test cases. The task for this one is find the acceptance rate of requests which is defined as the ratio of accepted contacts versus all contacts. Multiply the ratio by 100 to get the rate in percentage, so say, as a percentage. And talking about contacts, they probably mean contact requests when you message an Airbnb host to say, I would like to book during this duration and they can either accept it or deny it. So that should be the request acceptance rate. We want to see how many of these get accepted and um, yeah, just create a ratio around that. So let's get into the data. We have one table called Airbnb contacts, which has a lot of columns, ID guest, ID host, which tells us which guest interacts with which host. We have a listing ID as well. We have timestamps, four columns for timestamps, contact at, reply at, accepted at, booking at. We also have DS check-in, DS check-out, which would be date time, I think, instead of a, an actual, or just date in, instead of a timestamp. We have end guests and end messages, which should be number of guests and number of messages in the conversation, I think. Let's just preview that data to get a sense of what's in there. We have DS check-in and DS check-out as dates, uh, just as is expected, and we have actual timestamps in the TS columns. We do have long IDs and um, yeah, nothing unexpected here. We do have some null values if the request is not accepted. Um, it seems like that is mainly the case when we have a null value that the request doesn't get accepted. We also have booking at, which can be empty even though accepted is not empty. So that is something to keep in mind. Otherwise, it seems to be filled pretty much, not too sparse apart from these two columns, T is accepted at and T is booking at. Okay, so let's get back to our problem statement that says find the acceptance rate of requests which is defined as the ratio of accepted contacts versus all contacts. Multiply the ratio by 100 to get the rate. So it's really just about getting that acceptance rate. So let's think about which columns we need to look at here. I think since these two, T is accepted at and T is booking at, are the only ones that contain null values and kind of give us that information. Um, as I said, I expect these to be the ones that are not accepted or rejected. So let's look at T as accepted at. If there is a timestamp in there, that means the contact request has been accepted and we could use that information to say these were the accepted ones. Whenever there's a null value in there, they have not been accepted or not accepted yet. We're just going to assume that means they are not going to be accepted in the future or this has been some time in the past. We don't expect them to be accepted anytime soon. T is booking at. It seems to be the case that they go along with the accepted at for this one. Maybe they have been accepted, but they didn't end up booking it, or it's just a, an error in the data. I'm not sure, but since our question is only about acceptance rate, I think it's fair to say we're going to stick with TS accepted at and don't look at TS booking at, since it asks for an acceptance rate, not for booking rate or anything. So it seems like we're going to need that. It seems like every row would be one contact request, since we have that TS contact at in every row. And yeah, I think that's what we're going to base it on. So the way we're going to calculate this ratio, or we often calculate ratios in SQL, is by looking at a certain column and check whether values are null or not, um, exactly as it is the case in this, in this table. Um, and we're going to use a case when then statement or if statement in some SQL dialects. 
So we want to sum up the values for which we have values in T is accepted at and then divide that by the number of values in the entire column, basically the row column, if that makes sense. I'm just going to get into it to make it make more sense, hopefully. But that's just an overall scheme or way or template to use in order to, to calculate these ratios. So we're just going to collect, uh, select this one case when then an end statement from this table Airbnb contacts for now. And yeah, I'll show you what, you, what we get. Let's maybe move that to another row, that as well to make it totally clear. Okay, so we're gonna look at T as accepted at. So the case when T as accepted at has a certain value. In this case, if it is not null, then we want a one in there else we want a zero in there. Let's just do that for now. Yes, and we have one column as output that tells us whether that is the case. So whenever we have a one in that output, that means there is a, uh, there is a value in the table. We have a zero in there, that means it's empty. And now if we use sum and sum up the values in this column, it's basically going to give us. I have the parentheses at the wrong position. It's basically going to tell us how many non empty values we have in there because we were just going to, if we use the sum and one means we have a value and zero no, we're just going to sum up all the ones or sum up all, all the numbers in there and it's going to give us 39. Okay, so now that we have that value of 39, it means we had 39 non-empty values in this column, which means we had 39 accepted contact requests. Now we just need to work out the number of sent contact requests. And I think the easiest thing to do here is to use a count since we don't need to look at the column values. And instead of counting TS accepted at, we're going to count TS contact at which gives us or which contains the timestamp of the contact request being made. And if we count that, we should get the number of contact requests. If we were to count T as accepted at, it wouldn't count null values and we would get the same a 39 value pretty much. Now that I think about it, we could also use count of T is accepted at. Let's try that later on because it wouldn't count the null values. So in this case we still get zero because we're dividing an integer by another integer and that will give us once again an integer. So what we need to do is to multiply by 1.0 for example to make it a float and get that ratio of uh, 0 0.39. Actually since we want to multiply the ratio by 100, let's just do that. And that should give us 39, which was what we wanted in the first place. I think, yeah, in this case, it seems to be that we have exactly 100 rows in there, which is a good example, but yeah, makes it, makes it a bit trivial. So we still need to do that calculation because we could only have 39 in there the solution is not necessarily just the count of accepted requests. It just happens to be 100 elements in the table in this case, 100 rows. Let's do calculate by 100.0 though to allow for decimal places. And then let's just try that count of TS accepted at as well. It should work in this case. And we get 0 0.39 as well make it 100.0 and yes so 
let's just check whether again whether that is the correct solution it is the other solution should work as well and i chose the other solution this one some case when then since often you don't just need to check for whether a value is not null or is null but you have to check for a certain common value so if you want to count the ratio of apples in fruit baskets and every row, row would be one fruit in the fruit basket then you would have to do case when fruit is apple instead of is not null and then it wouldn't work to do count or it wouldn't work as easily probably need a subquery and all that so that is why that template is in place in this case you can use both the count and this template they're both accepted and that's pretty much it anyways that's been it for this problem i think it's a nice one it is very much an airbnb use case and problem and thing you would probably have to calculate so yeah very close to the actual business i like it if you want to try this one and more airbnb tagged questions head on over to stratusrich.com you can try a selection for free and then also unlock more by going for a premium membership and if you do and use the sponsor link down below you also support the channel which is great if you want to know other ways to support the channel you can always just subscribe and check back for another video see you next time bye